I think the Giants have made a mistake. I think that Odell Beckham Jr. has been on his best behavior this offseason to get the money. Congratulations to Odell. You got money. They showed you the money. They paid you the money. Now they're going to regret it. <laughs> <laughs> now we go. Odell's going to go back to being Odell, and all that money just is going to expose what Odell really is. He, he, he's not... He, I don't think he loves the game. I think he loves the attention. I think he loves being a celebrity. Now he's got the money to be that kind of celebrity, and that's what they're going to get. They got a celebrity-wide receiver. He's not Julio Jones. He's not Antonio Brown. They will not get their money's worth out of this deal. Oh, I disagree. I believe he's the engine to that Giants offense. And if they didn't pay him, if they didn't retain him, that offense can't function. Eli Manning is a different quarterback when number 13 isn't on the field. Yes, Odell Beckham Jr. is a rock star. Having been around him, having been around him when he has kids around, he's a rock star. I've never seen any athlete command that kind of presence from teenagers that Odell has. But what I will say, I don't know of many that work harder than him. I don't know of many that can put the ball in the paint like he does. When he is on the field, he's nothing short of spectacular. The New York Giants had to open up the bank because he is their most important player. You know what's interesting? Like, had they gone in a different direction in the draft, had they taken Sam Darnold, Maybe this doesn't happen. But they know they need to support Eli. They need to put people around Eli to make Eli an efficient quarterback so Eli can continue to play. Because what happened last year without the people around him, without the pieces around him, my, he was a shell of his former self. I will say this about a guy like Odell. Now, I love his passion for the game. He needs to grow up from an uh, emotional maturity standpoint. But when I see people celebrating other people's success, like I just saw in that video, you know what that tells me? It, I mean, how I think often? We'll make it rain tonight. It's well, 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 that, well but, <laughs> no, right. But what I'm saying is that he is, yeah, he's well liked. Those guys, those guys, genuinely have an affection for him as a teammate, and that to me, that I mean, that says a ton about who he is within that locker room. Like when you see other people get a raise, you're like looking at those people like, are you kidding me? That guy got the raise, man. Didn't I deserve the raise? Yep. Like how often do you celebrate other people's success? That's it. That's an to me, that's an incredible video. That Mark, says all, everything Mark, I need to know. Mark, if we had this kind of video when I was a high school football player, you could have seen me and my teammates. When the McRib came out on the <laughs> dock, <laughs> we were celebrating the exact same way. No, it, it's <laughs> number one, the Giants are a much better team when all that buck is on them. He's one of the best receivers in the league. He, he's not Julio Jones. He's not Antonio Brown. He's right there. Mm -hmm. But how it works is you're always going to bypass the receivers that have come before you in terms of pay. He's nowhere near the highest paid player in the league like he thought. I got it. But if you, if you look at it from this perspective, LeBron James, Steph Curry, Kevin Durant, Odell Beckham is on that type of level internationally when it comes to NBA players. Like, he's recognizable by what everybody in the world. What is he going to do on the field oh, he's, now that he's got this money? He's going to do the same thing, if not more. He's performed pretty damn good on the field since his rookie year. He's played extremely well. Social media following. He has over 11 million followers. Tom Brady has four. That's his level of popularity. So they're going to get their money worth. TJ, why with do this you deal. Keep, why do you keep going to social? What's he going to do on the field now that he's so, got wait, wait, this wait. money? So you I think he's going. I don't think he's going to be the same wait, wait. player. So you mean to tell me? So basically, what you're saying is when guys get good deals, no, they no, tuck no. it in. When Odell. No, I, and we've seen, but you have seen to, Albert Hearns, Albert Hainsworth tuck it in, but and I've seen Indama Kansu get paid and not deliver. These, Odell, to me, doesn't fit the personality a, of the he guy. He has a sense of pride. Every for, he has a sense of pride. He wants us to say he's the best receiver in the league. He has. A, I don't think he would he's work out here hard. working all out the social hard. videos. Yeah. He's at UCLA working out. He's everywhere working out. He and Jarvis Landry are cut from the same cloth when it comes to working out. Those dudes get after it like no other. And I just believe with the money in his pocket, look, he welcomes the spotlight. He knows there, there are certain guys. There are certain, certain guys. When I was as an offensive player, when you break the huddle and LT you know where they is at. on the on the, you're like, where is where's 56? Where is that dude? Right? Junior Seau. There are certain guys you know. You know when 13 if you comes off. If you my tell question, me, can I answer? Can I, let me ask the question. Yes. I just want it, to, it was a bad question. Go ahead. I just, it. Want, <laughs> I just want to say again. Odell. Once he, his, all this hard work you're crediting him for, to me, was about getting paid, what, what's not being that? the greatest. What has shown, he's, 
His first three years in the league, the 1,300 yards. You don't chosen. see that. He's having fun. He's 23 years old, 24. Well, that's what the you want emotional maturity thing that I – A lot of guys I, are in it for right. the money. A lot of guys are in it to be great. No, no, I think I, he's I, in it for the money. He's in, think, no, think, everybody's in it for the money. Everybody. 100% of players. Okay. Some are in it for both. Some are in it for just one. Yes. But I think he wants to be great. I think the numbers that he put up those first three years when he broke records, Unlike receptions, touchdowns, all this stuff, he's a dominant player. I don't think you can find many players that can single-handedly dominate the game like he can from outside. And Pat Julio Schumer's Jones offense, and Antonio Brown they can. off the top right. of my list. Yes, they can, but head. they don't put it in the paint like Odell does. Odell puts the ball in the paint. There's a premium for guys that score touchdowns. Antonio he Brown scores is touchdowns. about the only one. It's a difference. Odell Beckham is a hell of a player. To I'm me, not saying. I'm saying. And he's going to live up to this you're contract. saying he's going to roll over. He's going to relax. Nah, and nah. He's and got the money. That was mission like, accomplished. You know what? He just looks like that. But inside, he's a dog. He just looks like that. He's a dog. It's pretty in the face, but he's a dog. He just looks like that. He's a dog. You know, please, you know, please you know, prove me right. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You do know the poodles are dogs as well, right? Nah, he, he's a pig. <laughs> he's a, hey, when we call, when, when they're a poodle, All we right. call him a poodle. All right.